Welcome to this edition of my Fireside Chat. It's another exciting week at Delta State as we announce the reopening of the Roy L. and Clara Bell Wiley Planetarium in Taylor White Walters Complex. This event comes after an extensive set of renovations and updates to the planetarium's technology and facility, which originally opened in 1976. This facility is the only one of its kind at a Mississippi public university, and it will open to the public on Wednesday, October the 12th, with a showing at 6 p.m., followed by two showings on Friday the 14th at 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. Then there will be a special 1 p.m. showing on Saturday in association with Delta State Homecoming game. Admission tickets are $5 and can be purchased right outside here at the door with checks or cash. I'm here today in the planetarium and joining me to discuss the renovations and the opening event is Dr. Adam Johansson, who's our assistant professor of physics at Delta State and intimately involved with the planetarium project. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you for having me. You bet. Tell us uh, what we can expect to see uh, if we attend this event coming up this week. Yeah, if you were to come to one of our shows, one of the first things that you will learn is what is up in the night sky that you can see from Cleveland at this time of year. One of the great things about the planetarium is we can show you what is in the night sky anywhere on the Earth at any time of year or at any time in the past or in the future and we can do that here as well. So we'll show, uh, we'll show the audience members some of the constellations and star patterns that they'll be able to see so that they themselves will be able to go out to look at the real nighttime sky and to be able to uh, recognize some of those star patterns that they have learned. That's very cool. Now how will this facility be used to enhance learning opportunities for Delta State students and for those on the outside? The primary use of this facility is going to be for the astronomy students and they are going to have classes in here and lecture and we can teach from textbooks and we can show static uh, PowerPoint images and even a lot of good animations mm -hmm. but what we can do in the planetarium is so much more and it really helps the students really kind of put together in their mind these pieces that they see a little, uh, little piece of this information here and learn a little concept here, but to see it all work together and how it works in reality, not just from how things look on Earth, but we can fly through the stars and around the planet so that they really get a good comprehensive view of space and just the immensity and the majesty of it. We're so grateful to have that. Not only that, it can be used for uh, school groups. We want to have local schools uh, and their students to be able to come and learn those things. A lot of people love astronomy, but a lot of people actually don't know very much, and we want to be able to bring those children in and to be able to teach them those principles that they need to be learning in second grade and third grade about the moon and phases and, and things like that. But there are many opportunities. We have a beautiful facility here and it can be used in many different ways for a lot of different disciplines. Uh, we can teach biology and chemistry uh, content in the planetarium. Uh, whatever people can imagine and whatever they can put their mind to, uh, the planetarium can do it. So we just have a wonderful facility. The other thing that it will really impact students is we want to have them involved with running the planetarium, mm -hmm. developing uh, the skills that are necessary to, well, how do I integrate the audio and visual components mm -hmm. together? Maybe learn a little mm -hmm. bit of computer programming and learn presentation skills and how to put on a show. Mm -hmm. And there are opportunities for that as well right. that would just really benefit them uh, no matter what they do, no matter where they go in right. their careers. This is certainly going to be a multi-purpose use facility Absolutely. and a, a function that will be very valuable to Delta State for a long, long time. Um, the new technology here, I understand, is really top flight. Uh, we've got it all installed, ready to go. Can you talk a little bit about the technology and how it's translated down to us? Usually when you think of going into a planetarium, you usually think of some sort of uh, sophisticated star ball that will display some star patterns on the dome and maybe with some uh, slide projectors or fancy lights or things like that, they can uh, be able to put up maybe constellation patterns. Mm -hmm. Here, what we have now, we have the ability to do that, but we have two digital uh, high definition projectors. And with a computer and with projectors and a big screen like the dome, 
there is no limit to what we can do. We can show uh, things in this fully immersive environment of video and sound. We can fly through, uh, we can fly through the galaxy. It has the stellar positions and their motions pre-programmed into it, so we can actually fly through the stars or be able to see what will the star patterns look like 100,000, 500,000, a million years into the future. We can create our own content and create solar systems, artificial solar systems and planets that don't even exist except for in the minds of those who have put them together. So the technology that we have is just really outstanding in that it will allow us to do uh, the creative. We can be creative and scientific and the planetarium is a place where these two things can kind of merge together. One other piece of technology I'm really excited about is the capability to uh, display uh, 3D images and 3D uh, video. We have, uh, we have a small uh, bit of content that we can show in 3D, but we have the 3D glasses and a mm. uh, 3D theater here, and we're excited to use that and show people that and be able to build up kind of the shows that we have and the content that we have can, that we can show it in 3D. It's almost like a Hollywood production here. We've got a big thing coming. Mm, yes. We're getting ready for it. That's great. Now, how can folks here on campus and in Cleveland and Bolivar County and throughout the Delta learn more about this and, and come and interact? Yeah, the best way to learn more about the planetarium is just to come and visit us. But uh, it, in order to get information, there's a lot of good information on our website. It's deltastate.edu slash planetarium. And there's a lot of good information there. Or you can send any inquiries by email to planetarium at deltastate.edu. This is an exciting time. We've been waiting a long time for this reopening. Thank you for your great role in this, and we look forward to the big day. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. In other news on campus, it's homecoming week at Delta State, and we invite everyone on campus, in the community, and even out of town who are visitors coming into the city to our homecoming parade that's set for 10 a.m. this Saturday. The parade route will begin at the H.L. Niles Student Union on campus. It'll make its way to Fifth Avenue, down Court Street, then to Sharp Street and West Sunflower Road before coming back and ending in front of Walter Sillis Coliseum. And be sure to join us that afternoon at four o'clock for our kickoff against the University of West Florida, our homecoming football game. And as always, you can keep up with all of our news, events, and activities by visiting our website at deltastate.edu. Thanks for joining me today. Come see our planetarium, and I'll see you next time on another edition of Fireside Chat.